The overall goal of the following experiment is to estimate the proportion of stem-like cells within a cancer cell line or tumor tissue sample and assess their capacity for self-renewal over successive passages. To do this, a cancer cell line or tumor tissue is processed to generate a single cell suspension, which is then sorted to isolate CD44 positive and CD24 negative cellular subsets. The cells are seeded onto low attachment plates, allowed time for growth, and then examined by light microscopy. Sphere forming efficiency is quantified by determining the number of spheres that have formed relative to the number of cells originally seeded. The process of generating a single cell suspension, allowing time for growth, and determining sphere forming efficiency is repeated over successive passages ultimately providing a measure of the capacity of the cells for self-renewal over time. This method provides a simple prospective assay to identify cells exhibiting functional properties of stem cells, such as self-renewal, as well as a quantitative estimate of the number of stem cells coming from in vivo tumours. A central tenet of sphere-forming assays is that each sphere is derived from a single cell, a therefore clona. For this reason, cell density is the most important parameter of this assay because it has a critical impact on clonality. Working under a sterile culture hood, begin this procedure with MCF7 or MDA-MB231 cells that are 70 to 80% confluent. Aspirate the medium.